They were the game one starter, Madison Jenkins. Madison, you threw a pretty good, pretty good game today. A two hitter, shutout. Speak on your performance today. Um, yeah, I figured. I mean, I I think I did pretty good. Um, at Pearl River, I didn't really have a good, you know, game one start uh, last Sunday. I think, yeah. But um, we have a great pitching staff that's always behind me, so I know that I can go out on the mound with confidence. And if I have it, I have it. And if I don't, then I know that. I have girls behind me that's always going to have my back, so that kind of helps. Mm -hmm. no. Well, you shut Holmes out, but to win the game, you got to score two. So y'all won 3-0 in game one. Speaking of your team's performance offensively. Um, well, our bats weren't really that great in the first game, but we, you know, we found a way, and sometimes games go like that. And um, we just had to adjust. We just have to adjust to the slow and away sometimes. and. Sometimes it just takes us a few bats to get there, but we did, and I'm proud of my teammates for that and for not giving up and just having my back on the field, especially. Big time matchup this Sunday against Mississippi Gulf Coast. <laughs> Top three matchup. I know you're looking forward to it. I know your whole team's looking forward to it. Speak on your preparation going into this game and what it means to y'all. Um, really, you just have to kind of treat it like every other team. Like, it doesn't really matter if you're playing one team or you know number two team in the nation like you if we play the way that we know how to play then i have confidence in every single one of my girls so you just got to go out there and play your game and do your best and trust yourself so katie you had a pretty good day offensively today two for three in the first game one for two in the second game not to mention that home run how do you feel about your performance today uh, i was really proud of myself you know usually i'm a line drive hitter so the home run was a surprise to me and i know it was for most of my teammates uh, but it felt good and i'm glad i could get the job done when we needed it and so did my teammates and we got the wins okay holmes is a team that could have been very overlooked in the, going into this game having a losing record in conference speak of how the team looked up didn't look over them uh, I think Coach Kirk prepares us really well for that. Um, in the days leading up to games, he'll have us, you know, review as much as we can about their pitchers, their defense, their offense, just so we can have a good understanding of what's coming at us. Um, and I think that really helps with our approach. Uh, we know they put up a good fight against some really good teams that we've played already, and we knew we had to be prepared because everybody wants to beat us. You got a top three matchup with Gulf Coast. It's a big game for y'all. Absolutely, absolutely. Just speak on how big of a game that is. And what your team has to do to prepare for that? Well, I know there's definitely going to be some nerves we got to work through, but uh, I think the extra day will help us prepare even more. Um, I know it's definitely going to help us heal up after this win. Um, we've had some other big games, and we handled it really well. The first couple of innings are always the hardest, and once you get rolling, you just don't stop. Holmes is a pretty good team. They could have easily been overlooked, but how do you feel on y'all's performance today against them? Um, I think we had a rocky start, maybe coming into that second game. But we definitely uh, pulled it together as a team. Like Coach says, um, if one's falling behind, the rest of the team's there to back you up. And I think we prepare for that mm -hmm. pretty goodly. Speak on the offensive performances throughout the game, because there wasn't a lot of scoring. Three runs for in a, for us in game one and five in the second. Um, for the offense, I think we kind of maybe struggled with the slower pitching. But I think definitely we put it together like we needed to at the end. It could have been better, but we'll work on it at practice tomorrow. Speaking of practice, looking forward to this weekend, you have Gulf Coast Sunday. Speak on how big of a game that is for y'all. Uh, that's a huge game. We're preparing like crazy, hitting the weight room first thing in the morning, then we're coming out on the field. Um, I think we'll be prepared, and I'm very excited for how the game's going to go. Here with Coach Andy Kirk, and Coach, has a good sweep of homes today. How do you feel about your team's performance? I was, uh, you know, Holmes is a gritty bunch. Uh, Coach Emory's done a great job coming in there, taking over that program. And, you know, they got a big win the other day against Gulf Coast. We knew they were coming in here on emotional high and they were going to be a gritty bunch. Uh, we've seen them swing the bats on video and stuff. We knew it was going to be tough. I thought uh, we had a tough time adjusting to some of their pitching. You know, it took us a little while to get going. But uh, I'm real, real excited. You know, anytime we can get two wins in a conference is really good. I'm going to ask you about uh, your game one starter, Madison Jenkins, threw a two-hitter. That was a big performance by her. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, one of them is even a bunt hit. I mean, uh, it was we were looking there, and she wasn't real sharp early, but she was just battling, and then she just got better and better as the game went on and gave it one double, and then that bunt hit, and the rest of it was not, they never really threatened, you know, after uh, early in the game. So uh, Jenkins been there for us. She went from being a freshman, you know, game two starter, and now she stepped up to be that game one starter, and uh, we're expecting big things out of her every time she's in the circle. Speaking out of game two, 
Holmes comes out on firing on all cylinders. They go up 3-0 in the top of the first. Your team never gave up, though. They scratched back one run at a time, and they eventually got the win 5-3. to three. Speak of their resiliency. Yeah, I mean, that's all you can say is just very resilient. This bunch all year, uh, I, I've made a comment to several coaches and different people, we're almost like the best uh, brother-in-law scramble team for you golfers out there that know what that means. Uh, you never know who it's going to be. You're not counting on one person because it's been everybody. You look at our lineup, and I think in our lineup, seven of our hitters have 17 or more RBIs, and there's not a lot of lineups you see that have that consistency with that many people and you know yeah they hit us in the mouth early and uh, our kids had the chance to you know just to fold the tent and then we just kept winning innings we got one in the bottom of that first inning to get a little closer and then we won I think four three or four more innings after that and it was just good to have you know uh, K Mac came in there she got a hold for us held him right where he's at and then M Rob does her thing now looking forward to this weekend you got a big matchup with Mississippi Gulf Coast top three matchup just speak on the preparation for your team going into that game yeah, definitely got to change gears here. They have a lot of uh, pitchers. They have a lot of options. You really don't know which pitchers they're going to throw at you. Uh, probably one of the best offensive teams in the country. I mean, they really swing the bat really well, hit a lot of home runs, doubles, and they steal bases. So uh, one through nine, they have a lineup that's as good as anybody will face. Uh, they've scored a lot of runs. Their pitchers have given up some runs and stuff, so we think we'll have opportunities to score, but we really got to limit that that big inning. You know, when you play those big games, this is going to be just like state, state tournament type game, regional games, or World Series type games, you know, uh, whoever wins these two, if somebody can sweep, they will be in a good good shape, you know, driver's seat, Colin's still in the mix, but it'll be, uh, it'll be exciting. I expect us to have a really big crowd here, and uh, people get to see two really good games. Oh, yeah. Well, Coach, congratulations on the sweep. Good luck this weekend. Thank you guys for all you do. Roll try. Brought to you by Renaissance Bank, the bank that understands you. Learn more at renaissancebank.com.